What is up, bros? Me, Josh, here. In today's video, we are going over the Zhao, the IGN Tier 10 Cruiser. This is a ship that's been in the game for a long time and has been known for being a good ship for ever since it's been available. It's actually been nerfed multiple times because it was actually too good. And now, it's kind of getting a, a buff, if you will. Uh, if you want to really even call it that, it's it, it's got a change coming to it, and well, it's here, and this is with a 12km Torps. Now, the Zhao, for the longest time, the whole IGN cruiser line has had, uh, basically from starting from tier 5 all the way to tier 9, it's had 10 kilometer torps. Um, it's very, you know, almost identical. I always say the IGN line is a great line to play for people who are starting to learn cruisers because there's a good mix of torp play as well as it's very, very similar as they are going up through the tiers. And then the Zhao trades in basically these really, really fast 8 kilometer torps for these 10 k So it's a bit different than what the normal line was, but with the recent change, the Zhao has since gotten the option to take 12 kilometer torps. So the normal 8 kilometer torps, 104 second reload, so about a minute and a half, just over 76 knots, so extremely, extremely fast about just over 21k damage and a detection of 1.8 kilometers so majority of the time with as you can see a 9.7 kilometer detection on the Zhao itself whenever you're going to be launching your torps it's most likely in a chase situation because um they're in the back they have a pretty unfavorable arc for the torps uh you know, as you would see, like an Otago, you can kind of almost torp forward with the Otago. The torp arcs on this ship aren't the best, um, and they tend to be if you are running away from something or basically making a YOLO rush. I always make the joke that if you launch torps, the 8km torps, with the Zhao, you're going to hit something just because they're so fast. So fast and within 8km. I mean, 76 knots, 8km, you're most likely going to hit something. But with these new 12km torps with uh, 171 second reload, so well over a minute longer on the reload the reload is insane it's a it's a big big reload but it kind of lets you be a bit more of an offensive threat if you really think about it because majority of the time when you're playing the eight kilometer torps you really can't use them because it's eight kilometers away when a zao you're kind of this you're kind of at range cruiser and most of the time yes if you do rush and get aggressive um they can be very effective but you really aren't using the eight kilometer torps that often unless you're always in a chase or something like that but what the 12 kilometer torps do they give you an ability to kind of launch them every time the reloads up just in case um because you're going to be able to stealth torp. What I say by that is the, the distance of your um, torps is, is going to be longer than your detection. So you have a, a just over a two kilometer buffer to be able to actually stealth torp, which is actually really, really nice. And then, um, but the 12 kilometer torps, 171 second reload. So a massive reload, uh, 67 knots. So you'll lose nine knots there, which isn't really that bad. And then almost 24K damage on that, which is basically insane. Uh, those are nasty, nasty torps. 24k, even at 12 or 12 kilometers. That's if you're snagging one, snagging two, that ship's gonna know you're hitting them with the uh, with torps. And then actually a little bit stealthier. I mean, nothing crazy at 1.7 kilometer detection. You'll see here. I actually don't get a hit, but this is the uh, option you have with. And as you can see right here, we have a Shima. Um, the, I think the Gearing was in the middle, or Yugumo. Gearing's in the middle. Um, as you can see, the two DDs over here. But the Yugumo is on our side. And he's been launching torps. He just sent out full racks. And I didn't exactly know where he was, but with these longer torps, you have the chance of just doing. And this is so actually so clutch. Um, the secondary, the secondary life. I think I would have snagged him before I got the ram, but secondary life saved the Azuma right there. Um, so GG's to him because that would have been kind of crappy. That would have been great for the. Uh, actually, would have died right there. Um, after the big shot from the either Republic or the Iowa. But um, what I'm about to do right here, and you, you actually see, is kind of a new threat that you have in this ship. And even when I'm playing against the Zhao, I haven't quite gotten used to, oh crap, he could have launched torps that were long enough to get me. So it makes it makes the Zhao a, ha, have it be this new thing. And, you know, I'm saying, well, maybe, maybe what's the range? I'm checking the speed on these guys. And... If that Republic was going in, even if he was at 15k, 14k or whatever, and you have 12 kilometer torps, so as you can see right here, this is what I'm talking about when I'm trying to launch torps. You never know if that Yugumo, we know he's over there somewhere, right? So if he if he comes in, that's a nice little torp spread. You can easily start knocking him down because I know he's torps kind of came from that way. I've, I've hit him with the eight kilometer torps. Now I have this ability, and 
that's the thing, right? You're seeing, I have a two and a half minute wait to get these torps back. But really, and the, as you can see, he's right there. So it was kind of a waste. But until I actually forget, I have torps on the other side too. So I can kind of just put some pressure on these. And this, it's it's kind of this new play style almost. It really is. And um, I didn't really think when I saw this buff to the Zhao, I didn't think the Zhao really needed it. You know, I think the Zhao... It's just a great ship. I think it's really, really, really good. I think it, it what it does, it's amazing at. It's this fantastic, stealthy ship. It hits like a truck. It has super troll armor. Um, you know, if, if someone's gonna let you burn them down, it this is just if if I if I ever just want to see the world burn, I'm not a big fan of the Conqueror. I don't like playing it. I don't like promoting what the Conqueror can do. But if I really want to see the world burn, I'll play some Zao games because this thing is still incredibly strong. And now having this new um, trick up your sleeve of these massive torps, and you'll get to see what these torps can do uh, in a little bit. It, it's it's even more fun, but I still think kind of unneeded. But still, you know, it is what it is. And uh, so right now we have the Ugumo behind us and the Zao pushing up. You know. I didn't change my captain. I don't have a torp reload captain. I don't think it's really needed. Um, the long reload, I believe, is fine because what you're kind of doing is you're going to end up launching them most likely on on reload whenever it does come back up because you don't have to be in kind of a certain situation. Really, the only time you would have been able to do the eight kilometer torps was if you were in the right or and or wrong situation. And see, with eights, I wouldn't have been able to do this because you can only really hit something if you are detected. So with these, I'm undetected. I know that guy's outside of my detection range, so at least 10k. But if he does kind of push up towards me, those torps might actually be able to hit. So it's kind of nice. Our team is kind of winning this side on C, so I need to rotate over a couple DDs over there. And um, hoping we can kind of bring this game back. But again, Zhao is still one of my favorite ships. And um, it's cool to, I guess... It, Wargaming wants to get away from everything. Be they want to, especially if you can see with the latest legendary upgrades... That just hit World of Warships the other day. So all you have to do, by the way, with Legendary Upgrades, just play a game. And that'll unlock it. And I believe the first game actually counts towards the progress. But they're going to take a while. Those Legendary Upgrades are going to take a while to unlock. You know, my guess is even if you're super tryhard with all the flags and all the everything, I'm, you're probably looking at 100 to 200 games to probably unlock that. Somewhere in that range. Yes, there'll probably be some people that get them done sooner with some really good um, luck and some really good, you know, all this extra stuff. But those are massive, massive, massive changes or, or games to play with this. And that's what Wargaming is trying to do with these legendary upgrades is trying to get people away from just the same thing, right? The Zhao, um, the Zhao playing the same way every time. They It seems like that's what they want to get away from. And even just changing up this little thing right here of the Zhao getting these different torps, it Honestly, it does change up your play style. It really does because you don't quite want to play this, you know, quite as far as back because you want to potentially use these torps. Now, I kind of still play this the same way because it's going to take a while to kind of learn this. But as you see, as I'm pushing in towards the side, I'm looking for this last battleship over here. The other battleship's way on the top side, and um, and there's this uh, North Cal that we're still looking for right now. But um, Oh wait, no, that was, that was our North Cal. I was looking for this Alabama and looking for the other other cruisers, but still, I like having this little this new trick up my sleeve when it comes to. And there's the Alabama. That's the guy I'm really looking for right there. Um, uh, it, it, it it's just nice to have this extra little thing. And I'm kind of interested if anybody here is playing this out. If you guys have gone with the 12Ks or if you guys have stayed with the 8Ks. Um, I think the 12Ks are honestly going to be better in the long run because, again, you can only use the 8Ks in certain situations. Like, things have to be right for that to actually work. Um, the 12, I think, can just be, and whenever I talk about anything in World of Warships, captain builds, um, modules, anything like that, I tend to try to stick with something that's more consistent. I think you'll be able to hit things from range with torpedoes more consistently. Like, that Alabama's heading this way, even though he's at 13 kilometers, those torps still might hit. Now i got to get a little bit closer. Um, but if he was, like, let's say he was pushing towards us, you couldn't do those with 8Ks, so... This is potential damage that you can get with purely these torps, you know? So this is the, what I'm talking about. This is a situation that'll happen more than um, than with the 8Ks, right? So, and I feel bad. It was an HE firing Alabama, but he's a red guy, so you still got to take him down, that Henry too. 
and this grows away. And I actually have some a little bit of trouble this grows away. This guy went guns a blazing grows away. And uh you know these these with the especially with the heal change on these grows away, it's a uh, they're a new little monster to deal with. Um but again, Torps going in on that guy. I'm trying to avoid potentially the Torps on the Scrolls of Oi. I know I'm going to let that fire burn out. There's the Torps right there. So luckily he white-lined it and that's it. And i uh, going to try to switch over. going to ignore these two guys in front of me. Luckily he missed that. And um, I think I actually knocked out both of my left side, which I um, which was the Torps I had ready to go. And still, the Zao is still amazing. I love this ship. If you don't have it, work down this line. It's still so worth it. And here's damage that I could have never gotten with 8 kilometer torps. That is a dev strike from purely the 12 kilometer torps. So I think that is proof in the pudding right there that I think it's just worth it. I, these are more fun to play with. They have a potential to give you damage. If I'm running 8K Torps, that doesn't happen because they just don't reach. 12Ks give you that chance. So, um, a pretty fun little move. Yes, he was an HE Fire in Alabama, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to happen every game. But it just opens up options to give you this. And I think it's pretty cool. Again, I don't think the Zao needed it. Um, it seems so weird that the Zao has some, like, this tier 10 cruiser that was known as being extremely strong for a long time and still is. Uh, one of the best tier 10 cruisers in my opinion is getting potential is getting almost the longest range torps i think it has like the third or fourth longest range torps in the game now behind a few ships behind like the shima and uh like the gearing and the the Yu yangs taking out the tier 10 it has it has some of the longest torps in the game as a tier 10 cruiser at 12 kilometers which is kind of insane now um so all in all pretty nuts this game we end up you know it's not a crazy it's not a crazy game uh damage wise but i just kind of wanted to show it off it was kind of funny the first time the first game i picked the 12k torps i ended up snagging a dev strike off of them so uh, it was just kind of like all right well i wasn't quite sold on them actually until of course that because when you look at them on paper it's a massive reload a just a huge huge reload at you know two and a half minutes two minutes 40 whatever it is so when you're like oh well i'd rather have the faster reload and then you actually play with them and go oh okay i can actually you know well i actually have to deal with the zao that can have long range torps oh i actually have these torps myself um it does actually kind of just add this whole another aspect to this ship so it's actually pretty cool and um we think that it grows away a little bit more he was just guns ablaze and i mean the new cab of life apparently and this is this has been kind of this has been happening more and more. I think it's more accident than anything. But people are talking about oh, people have been able to stealth fire. So what he's basically doing is I'm heading towards him a little bit, and he's heading away at like the perfect distance. Um, so he's actually able to, with how the rendering is working right now, he's actually able to continue to stealth fire um, because of how rendering is working right now and how uh, me going towards him, him going away just in time. So kind of a little interesting thing people are seeing it more and more and they're starting to wonder if stealth firing is coming back it isn't i just think it has to do with that rendering issue right now as well as uh on this and again i can defend myself if he wants to push that push that island which is great right because me put throwing torps out there if i'm gonna roll here if i'm gonna roll towards this opening right here he's gonna have to basically for his torps because mine are longer range than his by two kilometers um if he's going to push that point to defend this cap he's going to have to go right into my torps. So that's, again, another situation where the 8Ks wouldn't have done it. And 24K on on torps for a cruiser, again, is insane. And being able to use them at longer ranges is, is also a plus. So, yeah, let me know in the console if you guys have played the Zao. Um, are you guys sticking with the 8Ks? Are you guys changing to the 12s? And what do you think about them? And, man, I was just off by just a tad there. Um, but, yeah, I'm interested in what everyone's kind of rolling with. I'm actually enjoying the 12Ks. I think they're fun. But uh, a nice little win, though. Uh, high tiers have been relatively interesting recently, and we're going to slow down here, curl away. We're going to let his torps uh, fling right by us because it was pretty easy to guess that he was going to launch torps here, and our fighter plane unluckily wasn't there to spot it. But he is going to look for... I think he pops up one more time. Maybe he gets ends up getting away, or they might kill Henry in time. I forget. But uh, he was so gun happy, and now he's not going to shoot. What is this? What is this? You should give me the cap by myself. There he is, right there. And, of course, we're rocking the space camo because it's just badass looking. And, uh, what do we end up... I think we end up ticking out. I think that's what we end up happening... End up doing here. But, yeah. 
130k. We got a dev strike off the 10k or the 12k torps. And uh, just kind of wanted to show them off, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about them. Uh, I'm kind of interested in, in what everyone else has played. I think it opens up some new play styles, some new fun on a ship that I already like. So uh, a new threat for a threat that was already there, apparently. So anyways, that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.